Hey Kevin here, Mr. DIY Dork from DIYDork.com. Today I want to give you an update one year later after we moved into our house and how the uh, plywood plank floors have held up. So anyway, check this out. Okay, if you remember the last video, I showed you how the floors looked when, we turned, when I uh, finished them. And this is the room that I showed you first. And uh, as you can see, they look exactly the same. They have not changed whatsoever. And uh, they've held up great, um, really easy to clean. They have not moved and shifted or cupped up or uh, bowed or anything like that. Um, none of the nails have lifted. I did spot, um, it was probably about two months after we had moved in, one of the nails right along here had popped up and I just uh, hammered it back in and I have never noticed another nail move whatsoever and I've been totally fine. The boards have uh, stayed in position as the seasons changed and the humidity changed. Um, I think that's part and due to how many nails we put in it. It was thousands and thousands of nails and the glue and the fact that it's plywood. You know, I mean, it's ply because it has multiple plies and I don't quite remember offhand now if it was three ply or five ply. Probably should watch my videos I made before. But anyway, you got one ply this way, then the one on top of it that way, and then that way and that way. And it just keeps it really stable. And even if you get like an engineered wood, hardwood, that looks really nice on top, underneath, it's going to be plywood somewhat similar to this. So, um, you know, if you like the look of plywood like I do with the varied grain and all that kind of stuff, this is a really cool way to go. Um, they've held up really well, especially this room, um, because this one gets a lot of uh, a beat down. It is my drum room now, and we work on projects in here. So I do put drop cloths here, and I do finishing on projects, um, painting, sometimes I drop things. Um, and it will leave a dent like right here I dropped something super super heavy I think that was a corner of a really big dresser you can see it left a dent um, but just you know rolling things on it or dragging or whatever is not too big a deal of course I wouldn't drag anything sharp because that would just scrape up the polyurethane oh and speaking of polyurethane I believe the Sun has somewhat neutralized the color out a little bit I'm trying to remember now if it washed out even more or if it darkened up I was thinking it was going to slightly darken with the sun, but it seems like maybe actually, or no, I think I, I was thinking it was going to wash out and become a little paler, but I think the sun has darkened it. So that's probably due to the um, polyurethane I put on top. And I didn't use the water base because I had read that it may possibly rust the screw or the uh, nail heads. And I didn't want anything like that to happen, but I don't know if that really would or not. So that's why I use polyurethane. Um, one change I would do is when I made the video, I showed you how I put it on and I just had like a, an applicator that was like a pad that I just kind of like rubbed against it. And I probably, if I did it nowadays, um, I would use a roller with a clear coat to put it on. I think it would put it on a little faster and probably a little thicker. But anyway, they fill up great. They still keep their shine just like new. Um, we don't wear shoes in the house. We do wear just socks and we don't have any kids or pets. So that would probably help them last a lot longer too. Um, I've had people ask questions about the gaps. Um, they have not got any bigger or any smaller. They've pretty much stayed exactly the same. Yes, they do get some things in them. Uh, every once in a while you see a little pebble or something like that. Uh, really easy to clean though. We normally, every time we clean, we always sweep and we always do a really light um, wet mop like a, uh, like a Swiffer mop where you just, you, you know, it's got the little trigger thing on it and you just spray a little bit and then you mop a big area and we try not to get too much on it. And then every once in a while we'll run a vacuum cleaner if we notice any of the gaps having a little too much stuff, but it really doesn't add up that much at all. We've only done that a few times really. Um, as for getting water on them, I've seen someone ask if it would delaminate. Yeah, I think plywood would de delaminate if it had a ton of water. Like if you had a leaky window, like this big window back there used to be leaky before we swapped it out for this new one and the um, flooring underneath was really rotten. So if you have a leaky window, you know, it could be an issue, but that's something you got to fix anyway. Um, if your house floods, sure, but I think any wood would probably get screwed up if your house flooded. Um, as for installing it in a kitchen, I still don't think I would do that. Um, there's just too much gunk that could get in there. Um, I really like the VCT um, tile flooring that we did. And even it, uh, even though it was glued down, even some of them moved. Uh, I think it was either, I think it's this line right here has shifted a little bit. And if you get up close, you can see just a little bit of a gap. But once it did its little shift, it, uh, it turned out really well too. But the plywood themselves, the planks themselves have held up really well, um, have not moved. 
Um, they haven't bowed or cut. I thought maybe they would, but they haven't. But I'm pretty sure, like I said, it's because they're plywood and not solid planks. I think solid planks are a lot more reactive to humidity and uh, season changes and things like that. Um, let's see what else. Over here, when we had moved the couch at one time, it did leave an imprint, but like I said, that's gonna happen with a, a, a softer wood like the pine. But really, they've held up awesome. I still would do them again. I think if we ever do another house, I would, I would probably use plywood again, maybe in a different pattern. Um, because it was nailed and glued down, you could probably do crazy stuff. You could have, you know, like checkerboard, or you could even, if you wanted to get really in depth, like, you know, all kinds of shapes that fit together, almost like a puzzle or something like that. Maybe a bit much, but it could be kind of cool. Uh, but anyway, yeah, that's how they've held up. I think they've done really well, still look really great. Sure, it's not everyone's cup of tea, but nothing is. And I think they're a lot easier to maintain than carpet. They don't smell like carpet. They don't hold the gunk like carpet. You actually know if you're cleaning them or not, unlike carpet. And uh, it was probably cheaper than carpet too. So anyway, there you go. I thought I'd give you an update one year later.